been a year since we crossed that border, headed south into Mako, looking for some freedom. I saw my friends going to prison. I saw what they did to people like, like Schaefer Cox when he tried to get out, how they ambushed him and locked him away on false charges. I saw what they did to Jeff Winehouse and Lavoy and the Bundys, the natives, the blacks. I saw those prisons filling up and I saw them trying to set me up. And we said, enough's enough. We're not gonna raise our family in this kind of a regime. We're not gonna raise our family in New Berlin. Let's get out before, before the wall goes up. Loaded up that big, long camper and huge van and packed everything we could carry. And we just loaded up and we headed south and we said, that's it. And we, we left the house, which was later sold. And we, we just walked away. does that? Who does that? People that love freedom do that. And more and more, we're going to see real patriots leaving the USA because patriotism is not loving your government. It's loving your people and their freedom. And it's helping them find that. But Gavin, you've left America. You shouldn't read a map because this is America too. The propaganda was a lie. They've been feeding us the lie that we're the bestest and the freest and the safest and the greatest so that we won't actually realize that we're one of the most fascist and oppressive nations on the face of the earth. The last straw was when they were trying to set me up with bogus charges and they just kept stacking all these narratives trying to make me into a criminal. Uh, the last straw was, was police officers spreading rumors in other towns that, that they thought Gavin would go on a, on a shooting spree the real last straw was when they tried to illegally force me to unlock my phone. That was not happening. Not because they'd find anything on there that I'd be ashamed of or that was illegal, but because they could very easily plant something. Because our rights mean something. Because the right to not give the government what they want so they can try and frame you in a courtroom matters. We've fallen a long way from when the people gathered together and they said, not one more inch. And then they gave another inch. The Patriots gave up. They gave up God, they gave up freedom, they gave up courage, they gave up faith, they gave up principle because they decided faction, electing a new faction that made them feel good, that made them feel like they had power. As long as their people were in power abusing others, it was okay. That's what happened to the Patriot movement. They were loyalists. They simply wanted their people to have the guns to other people's heads, to the innocent victims, to the immigrants, to the activists, to the speakers, to the preachers. No one was going to stand up, and those few of us who did are just being picked off one by one by one. When we realized no one showed up in court, when we realized there were no good police that would honor their oath, when we realized that the politicians that said they were for liberty were not going to stick their neck out. When we realized freedom was gone and all they were going to do is keep abusing us until we were dead or in prison, we said, this isn't freedom. Our founders didn't tolerate that. They said enough is enough and they walked away. I can't think of a place more dangerous. We're violent, government-worshipping people. Call it godly, righteous patriotism to abuse others and defend the fascist state where they live under absolute despotism. 
There's no place more dangerous than a nation where the people believe that that is freedom, that that's the best. If the fascism I saw in my country, if the killings, the unrestrained government corruption, the extortion, the robbery, the intimidation, the terrorism, the crimes, the prison camps, the lies, the propaganda, the hatred of freedom, the hatred of those who resist tyranny, the hatred of justice, the abuse in our courts, the abomination of our courtrooms that is called justice. I left the USA because if that's freedom, I want no part of it. So we, we headed south to Mexico. It's been a year since we crossed that border. That's not a week I'd like to repeat. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wish for a do-over of that one. We really thought they, we really thought they might stop us. And I remember driving all through the night. I remember, I remember thinking, you know, are they going to see us leaving town? Are they watching us? In fact, af after we after we left and they realized we were gone, the, the police were at one point thought I'd return home and they were swarming my house all over the yard hoping to catch me because they're thugs, they're terrorists. They wanted to win. They wanted to steal and kill and destroy freedom because that is what they do. They wanted to prove that their crimes were justified and we didn't let them do that because you don't have to walk into a gas chamber. I remember just watching the rear view mirror the whole time on the way down, crossing the border. That had to be the scariest day of our lives. There's, there's exit stations at the borders to keep people from leaving, but they're not manned all the time. So they're setting up that infrastructure to keep us from leaving our own country to make sure we're prisoners. It's not all good. There's bureaucracy, there's BS, but here there's real militias that are actually militias that stand up, that throw the government out of their towns. Here there's people that actually resist and they're not being shot down on the street and sent to prisons in fake trials and fake courts. Here the people, they actually still have some, some passion. They still have some courage. They don't just worship the state while waving a flag and pretend that that makes them patriots. You can still say no here. You can still think free here. Doesn't mean the government won't try and harass you, but they don't get to just murder you in the middle of the road like they do to our friends and neighbors in the USA. We got our kids and our family out. Since we've done so, I've seen more and more people doing it. I've seen them talking about it. I've seen, I've seen a message go out that says, we don't have to just go down with a sunken ship. We don't have to bow down to New Berlin. The USA is gone. We don't have freedom. Your politicians don't represent you and they won't and the new election won't fix it. We've lost freedom because we gave up love for our neighbor. We lost freedom because of pride and flag waving and we're better than the people to the south and we're better than those brown people or we're better than this faction or we're better than them. There's the countless people that call us traitors and cowards because we refuse to walk into a, a legal court because we refuse to walk into a prison because they have so little courage left that they won't resist. We're not going to live as a slave. We're not going to walk voluntarily into their concentration camps that house more prisoners than any nation on the face of the earth. We left. And for anyone else thinking of doing the same, that's not cowardice. It'll be the hardest thing that you probably ever do. And I salute you for the courage to say no more, to say I won't pretend I'm free anymore, to say I won't pretend we still have a United States. There is no United States anymore. There's the almighty power of the federal government and their guns who will shoot you in the head if you disobey. And we've seen it time and time again. We saw it at Waco. We saw it at Ruby Ridge. We've seen it with the natives. We've seen it with the ranchers. We've seen it with the blacks. We've seen it with the Mexicans. We see it in the propaganda. We hear it in the news. It's constant fear and hate and terror, but they're the terrorists. They're the ones committing the crimes. Your police on the streets and your military invading the other countries to steal their resources. The USA is the terrorists. We are the Nazis. I opt out. 
My family opts out. We choose freedom. We choose love for our neighbor. We choose God. We choose to not bow and kiss the boots of terrorists, whether they're the local police like Officer Kennedy or the Sheriff of Grant County or the Governor of the state or the President of the United States, be they left or right. My rights are inherent. My rights are natural and I won't give them to you and I won't give you my children to indoctrinate and I won't give you my soul. I will not comply because the law is not what a politician, a bureaucrat, or a terrorist with a gun tells you. The law is our rights, our life, our liberty, and our property, and our ability to love our neighbor and defend that equally and for all people and all languages and all color and all races and all beliefs. That's law. That's Christianity. That's justice. That is freedom.